Hey guys, today I'm walking you through the internal structure of a CVT pulley pressure cylinder. Let's get it opened up. Take a good look inside here. Right here, this is the return spring. Next, we've got the piston cap. And this part right here is the oil inlet port for the pressure cylinder. Now, the hydraulic pressure in the cylinder comes from right here. It starts at the valve body, travels through the oil passages, and gets pumped in through this port. It comes in, flows out through these holes, then follows along these channels, keeps going along the grooves, and fills the entire internal oil chamber. That's how it builds up the pressure inside the cylinder. Back to this piston cap, this is an important one. The key area is right here on the piston cap. On the outer edge, there's a seal ring groove right in this spot. The most common reason these pressure cylinders fail is poor sealing from this seal ring. If it can't hold the oil pressure in the internal chamber, the cylinder loses its clamping force. Not enough clamp, and that leads to belt or chain slip. Usually, it's where right here on the seal ring that causes the pressure to leak off. And honestly, a whole lot of faults come down to this exact issue. Take a look over here. This is the guide bearing. The guide bearing sits right in this position. Fit it into this groove here. Pause for movement demo. When the pressure cylinder moves up and down, you can see it, right? Yeah, over time, these can wear. Once the guide bearing wears out, the cylinder doesn't move straight anymore. It gets off-center. That misalignment ends up wearing the seal ring faster, which causes even more pressure loss. Bottom line, this whole pressure cylinder setup is all about good sealing. If the sealing goes bad, you lose clamping force. Lose the clamping force, and the belt starts slipping. If any of this didn't quite make sense, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've got plenty more videos like this coming your way.